Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be installing Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi. For those of you who doesn't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a credit card size computer that allows you to plug into a monitor or a TV. You could also plug keyboard and mouse into this device. Uh, there's some general purpose uh, input output uh, pins that you could connect adapters, uh, sensors, cameras, stuff like that onto this little device and you could also program them. All right, so let's get started. So guys, uh, I'm going to have a link in the descriptions below where to go grab the ISO for the Raspberry Pi uh, Windows 10 Core. What we're going to do here is actually download the core and I'm going to actually skip this step real quick because I already downloaded it. No sense in watching another 10 minutes of me just downloading a file. So what we're going to do next is double click on the ISO that you just downloaded called IOT Core Pi. Um, then there's going to be an install file. We're going to install that. I'm going to hit repair because I already installed it. Again, just for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm putting this all together. really not much to it the install to, uh, is very easy a couple of clicks here and there um, and this installs the FFU file that they use it's different I'm used to IMG image stuff like that I don't know why they called it FFU all right uh, from here on we're gonna have to open this program called Windows IT image helper then select the device that you're gonna put you're gonna need an 8 gigabyte card so the mini the mini SD that I have in here is uh, 8 gigabytes I don't know why it shows about 7 browse for the FFU file which would be in the C drive program files x86 Microsoft IOT internet of things uh, FFU then Raspberry Pi 2 and then there's gonna be a flash.ffu file Open that, hit flash. I'll ask you if you want to erase. Yes. Yes. As far as administrator. Then it, this is just going to copy the file over. Okay, now that it's done on the SD card let's see just I'm just looking at the files they also put a program files in here and stuff like that that's pretty cool um, all we're gonna have to do is pop it out and stick it into the Raspberry Pi first of all I apologize for the super unstable photo because I'm actually holding my camera and see now it's gonna be operating I'm using this little guy to control it. Seems like network's going off. Okay, so it's doing something. Got these little blocky things now. All right, it's getting things working.
Okay. Choose my language, English. Not much to see here. I mean, you got a little gear icon that allows you to set your language. The network, if you got a Wi Fi dongle, I bet you could probably use it now. I know during the um, development process it wasn't working, but it should be working now. That's what I hear. And there's a few tutorials in here. Blinky get connected, get coding, let's go back to device info and there's a little uh, power icon up on the top right that you could I guess turn off the device if you needed to. Alright let's go to our PC and um, check out what's going on over there. So now that everything's all booted up we're gonna have to check out this core watcher and it detects it, it gives me the IP address of the device what happens if I double click it? Nothing. It just shows me that the device is there. Uh, I can close that. I don't need that anymore. Now to reach it, I need uh, 192.168.117.8080. And I believe it's administrator. It's pass word. password is spelled different. It's P uh, at sign SSW zero RD. But we're going to change that. And in here, you could actually uh, take a look at what's going on with the device. You could uninstall the apps. You could actually load the apps that you had loaded in. Uh, processes, pretty cool. Performance, oh, that's really cool. No, it's not doing anything and it should be idle. Uh, networking. I guess here, you, if you had Wi Fi adapters, you could just select it and hook it up from here. Alright. Now, I'm going to go into PuTTY and SSH into Windows 10 IoT. Yes, you do need the capital A because that's part of the username. S word. Haha, <laughs> C drive. That's funny. And to change the password, user net, I guess that's the username and a new password. I'm going to leave the link in that. Th that's a sample, so I'm going to leave the uh, link in that in the descriptions below also. Net user administrator password now it's much easier to remember all right so we changed our password and let me refresh this administrator password and it worked awesome if you thought that installing Windows 10 into the Raspberry Pi would give you a full GUI environment like the Windows RT or something like that, then you must be very disappointed. Um, the point of this, I think, was to um, mainly prototype devices, make probably a weather station, temperature sensor, stuff like that. But Microsoft wanted to get their hands in it and um, gives you the ability to actually program in C Sharp which in most cases I, I find very easy also and also gives them another device that they could stick their hand in. I haven't really fully used Windows 10 yet 
on the Raspberry Pi. I haven't coded any apps or anything. If that's something you would like to see, you could put it in the comments below and I could probably cough up something to uh, demonstrate what this thing could do. If you enjoyed watching that video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that little subscribe button on the bottom. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.